Hello, welcome to Kate's Day. Today is the most exciting day ever. Not only is it the first day of harvest 2021, but I got a new combine to drive for harvest. I'm ecstatic about it. driving the 9870 STS. If you've been watching my recent videos, you know that my dad sold my 9610 combine and I was super sad about it because I just love running it. It's pretty much like we grew up together, but I know running this one will be just incredible. I'll give you a little walk around tour of it because I'm just so excited. So this is the header right here. Oh, I just can't wait to drive it. So today is the first day of harvest and my dad's going to give me a lesson on how to drive this combine and take me through it. It's kind of similar to the 9610, but there's a little bit more technology there's a screen inside the buttons are very similar give you a full walk around tour here's where the straw comes out the back and then there's the auger and the auger is so much longer it always takes a couple days to get used to the combine again and it'll take me a couple more to get used to this combine okay now i'm going to take you inside the cab here my dad is coming in the semi truck this one's full so he was bringing another one all right this is the inside this is my steering wheel here. Hi grandpa. You want to say hi to video? Hi video. <laughs> we don't have the grain cart going right now because we're just trying it out and seeing if the moisture is okay and making sure the combines are in good shape and setting the concaves which are the inner parts that kind of separate the grain from the little covering of the grain. Very far down there is where the other combine is right now. This is the beginning of harvest. There's Uncle Chris in the 9760 combine getting ready to dump. <laughs> Okay, this rotor's stumbling, okay? Slow down for it and look what's happening here. We're high on the throwover meter. Right, gotta know that this was green when we swapped it, so this could be a little dampy. You just can't set a number and go. You gotta feel the rotor just like you did your combine. Our cylinder speed is set at 820. We're 14 on the top sieve, that means it's more open. We're nine on the bottom. Normally I don't run that big, but for some reason I got to. And we're running 790 on the fan because it was blowing all the weed out. It was probably light. I don't know. We're going to keep this. We're going to not go over the middle bar if we can. So here the weed's coming into the back and it is pretty clean, meaning yeah. there's not any coverings on the kernels, which is what we're looking for. There is a couple of them with it, but the yeah, majority no, isn't. How much grain does the combine's grain tank hold? 300, I don't know. Okay, when this tells you it's full, you can check your, you can lean back over here. And, and check look. the window. Right, but if you're on a tilty thing, Kate, you can't use that window. Because the one, you're looking at this side. The grain's gonna be well, more built up. Well, it'll out this side. This side, you gotta get way down to look, because we, you know, we have a broad, but I like to see the back tires too tire falls off or something you know you maybe would stop and notice it if you haven't watched my video my dad sold my combine go check it out because i explained the story of how the whole wheel fell off my combine i didn't even notice and i kept going okay you know speed and this stuff is relative Kate. how big the swath is you know if you start running over your numbers you need to slow down for it and if you're going slower, you're like we will be in some of these other fields, then you can slow your belt down a little bit. Here we have our grain cart that you'll see in all of my harvest videos. We have our disc just in case the field catches on fire and we move that with us to every field. The tractor running the disc is actually the same tractor that I got to drive for the first time ever doing my disking lesson. So that's pretty cool. Darcy's truck that he drives is parked right here and that's what we're dumping in right now. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna slide in just like we always do on them, you know. We're 
going to look and see where your tire is so we don't drive over as much wheat. Get in there. Okay, go ahead straight now a little bit. Okay, get your hand on the up and down button. Oh, it's opposite on this one. I forgot. Well, up is up and down is down, so it's easier. Okay, well, okay. lower the motor. Turtle wait, speed. Wait. One, two. No, no, you got to push these in. One, two. Okay, wait. For the head to catch. Now bring up the speed. This is my first wheat swath of the 2021 harvest. You're always looking at the angle of your head, Kate, and that's that belt. If you push it down now, that belt will lay down. You center the feet, pick it up. Okay, now start your turn. Get centered on it. Slow down a little bit, lower your head. Miss that thing. Okay, lower, lower, a little more. Okay, easy. at your gauge is just like flying okay? You get this set up because this is the meat and potatoes of this whole operation. And you check what you're doing here with these things here. These combines can eat a certain amount of grain and, and the reason we swath is because then we can kind of make it the maximum that these combines can eat, you know, smoothly. Because we don't have to fight the, the thing, we just got to pick the wheat. What's happening here, Kate? I'm speeding up. No, I know, but what's happening here? There's a draw. But the wheat's getting big. When it makes that, you know, so you need to start looking there. Okay, you're pushing as hard as you can right now in this. The wheat will probably lighten up as you go up this hill, but you gotta be aware. If you're running at capacity, Kate, you go down in a coolie, the wheat gets bigger, how are you gonna adjust for that? Slow down. See, this thing just purrs, don't it? It does. It really runs well. And the wheat just goes straight in. It's a super nice combine. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to run it. I'm happy to have somebody that's treated my 9610 as good as you did to run this. The 9610, it, every time you turn the steering wheel, it make a ch -ch noise like a... I don't know how to it's describe like it. When the wheel fell off, it stopped making that noise. And that's the only thing I noticed that I thought was weird was that it didn't make the ch -ch noise anymore. This looks like, you know, a big swath. It just doesn't appear to have much meat in it. You need to pay a lot of attention to how heavy this swath is. Because if you're cooking along at capacity gate and you just overrun this a little bit. It plugs. No. Unlike, it's no give like the well, 96 you don't want to plug this. That would be horrible. You've almost got a full window in the back. It feels slow to me, Kate. You know, I just feel a tenth of a mile an hour. But when, you know, the way I've run this is kind of at the very upper end of this. But I'm, I'm kind of looking for stuff a lot of times, you know, not all the time. But... Around and around the field we go. What my dad means by deadhead is pick up our header and not pick up any more wheat and, and road, which means just drive the combine back to the truck to dump. You can see how heavy the swath gets in that. Coolie. Yes. And so you, before you get there, you're going to be looking at this thing because nobody wants to plug a machine with this kind of power. Okay? You might even do the smart thing by slowing down just a little bit to make sure you don't plug it. I've never plugged a combine yet, yeah, so know. let's... I know, don't say things like that. Let's hope to keep it that way. Okay, I feel slow, so ease into this. You need to watch what we're doing here. Okay, start thinking about setting the head down. Down is down. That's... Yeah, don't stop, just slow. But set it down right before the thing. Turn into it, okay, you're late on your turn. Now, take a look at your belt angle, your swath, and start pushing. Don't sit around, and, you know. These things are made to cut wheat. Hey, you're going to what? How fast? 2-8, but is, it looks extremely heavy. heavy. Yeah, it is. So, you're okay. Push, okay, we're, we're away slow. And start feeling. Start looking at what you're going to do up here. Oh, we're not going to do anything. We're, we're going to do the 
the right thing. And just Road back. Oh my gosh, wow. He's right next to us. Ooh, that's cool. Wait, up is up. Don't start your turn, Kate. I know, but I'm trying to figure out which button. Up, up is up. Just keep your turn going. And then get in the middle of one of these two rows down here for the bomb down to the bottom. We'll let your combine run for a while to get rid of now we're roading back Don't to the drive trucks. In the swap. Drive over here. Now we're, we're. Look how far your driver is out there. Okay. I mean, don't go. I mean, center up. I'm trying. There we go. Your arms are going to get really tired if you keep doing that. Just little corrections. Now we're roading back to the truck to dump because our grain tank is full. There's Uncle Chris. Okay, go down and give yourself some room with something that's big. Okay? Now start your turn. Start looking at the thing you're turning on. Are you turning too sharp? Slow down a little bit. Get your auger out. Press the top button. That is no tarp, that truck. Where's the radio? Yeah, I know. We're just putting the auger out so she can see how far out the pull up. This is always really hard the first time. Okay, I'm going to sell this combine and then park it, go up and start supper, cook that chicken. Okay, you're way too close. Well, that's what I thought. Okay, go. Turn, turn. No, now drive straight. But you're angled in like this. Now I'm getting ready to dump. I just did my first round in my new combine that I'm driving for harvest. So it was pretty fun and it went well. It's always hard lining up to the truck the first time of every year of harvest. It's like riding a bicycle. You remember it, but you also need a little bit of practice to become as good as you were. One thing that's really starting to mix me up is the header goes up and down. And on my old combine, the top button meant down and the bottom button meant up. But with this combine, up is really up and down is down. So I get to the end of the swath and I freeze and I can't figure out which one's up and down. But that's something that will come with a couple of days. I'll show you my dad is untarping the truck he brought over right now. As you can see, it's that black thing. And those are saw flies on the window. My dad's got his hand up because he doesn't want me to dump yet. You're a little outside of where you want to be. So bring the auger back because it'll extend out some. Now just press the button and then bring the RPM up. Now we're going to drive ahead and put the weed in the front. Oh, oh. Combines like trucks, you don't want them moving until you want them moving, right? Okay, get going. You're not going to hit things if you're kind of close, but just keep going. When you get out, now you can straighten out a little bit and keep going. Tire on that green car needs for You'll probably wake up and your arm will be sore and you won't even know why. Because I think it's done it to me, Kate. You know, you're doing this drunk and sailor thing now. <laughs> yeah, your 9610 would have left a way nicer. Uh, Bro, it really leaves long straw. Yeah, it would have been. It been this is what the row of the 9610 looks like when it's got the choppers on it. Almost. Yeah, it is. You know, three, I just ballpark in about a 3.3K. Three, three that would keep you kind of safe, except for when it gets really heavy. And I can start to hear and fill the rotor up, you know. Now? Just a little bit. Well, we're headed down into it. Is it the vibration, or are you also listening for yeah, something? I, it's just it's just the sound. What, what do we need? We can do now. Auger out? No. Turn the machine off. You're not going oh. Let's drift out. Let's not angle right over there. Put your auger out so you have something to look at. I feel like I'm too far no, in. No, you're, you're about right. Be on the safe side, you know. Okay. Hit it. See where we're at. We might be too far. No, I think we're okay. Hit it. I did. Now, you're going to think about, when this gets full, what am I going to do? I'm going to back up smoothly. I'm not going to get caught. You know, whatever. Okay, you see it's starting to fill up. Hold it. Okay, now I want you to leave your auger out and drift out and watch your auger go over the top of the truck. So you know what goes on. Drift out that way. 
Oh, it does clear it. Yeah, so keep going now. Don't pull your auger and get away. Straighten out, get away. Where Do you want to park on the other side of the disc or on the other side of Chris? On the other side of Chris. Turtle now to let it cool down. Yeah, oh. check your temperature. First day of harvest 2021 is completed. Yeah. And the first day driving my new combine for this year. Okay. This is the end of the first day of harvest for 2021. It wasn't a full day. We started around midday, a little bit late, and it's 6.40 now. So usually we would go to about 10 p.m. just until it's dark and then stop. But because we don't have the grain cart going and we're still figuring out the positions of who is going to be the driver on each piece of equipment, we've almost got both these two trucks filled. And I had such a fun time driving the new combine that I'm driving this year. It's really exciting and I'm so thankful that my dad's giving me the opportunity to drive this. So thank you, dad. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the first day of harvest 2021 and me getting my new combine to run this year. I am absolutely thrilled. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to see more videos about how your food gets to your table and follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G and Facebook, Pinterest, pretty much all other social media platforms and also you can go to the Kate's Egg website, katesag.com, and purchase one of my tote bags that I have. Okay, thank you. 